This is an unusual story. The jet you're looking at is an F-106 Delta Dart, a storied interceptor in its day. It was built to exceed an Air Force requirement for 1.9 Mach in continuous flight at 57,000 feet. It did both. And in December 1959, it set a speed record of 1,525 miles per hour, or about 2.3 Mach, while flying at 40,000 feet. But this particular jet is famous for a different reason. As the story goes, the aircraft you see here on February 2, 1970, flew itself without a pilot into the ground, a snowy field in Montana, where its engine continued to run for another hour and 45 minutes. Grounded, pilotless, and still under power, with its radar still sweeping, the jet sometimes crept forward foot by foot through the snow as a small collection of onlookers watched. Its pilot, First Lieutenant Gary Faust, had ejected roughly two hours before. Faust's trip was just as interesting. He'd lost control of the jet while flying a mock engagement that led his and two other jets into harsh maneuvers in the thin, unforgiving air at 38,000 feet. Attempting to match a high-G reversal by another pilot, Faust's jet bucked. He entered a flat spin, and the jet fell. The flight's two other pilots came to his aid, calling out recovery procedures, but by 15,000 feet the result seemed certain, and an instructor in one of the other jets ordered Faust to eject. Faust obeyed. As Faust shot up, the jet's condition changed, just enough for it to recover on its own and head off for the horizon. Legend has it that one of the observing pilots said on frequency, Gary, you better get back in. In the end, the jet was recovered, rebuilt, and put back to work. It flew, rumor has it, just as well as any other jet ever had, but would always be known as the Cornfield Bomber.